Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. So we need to beat Mom's heart still with Magdalene, Judas, Eve, and Azazel. And I still don't have Samson unlocked. Let's go with Judas. Judas is a pretty fantastic character. He starts with pretty high damage output. Only one heart though, so really low HP, but the Book of Bilal, which, or Book of Belial, I guess, um, which gives us a massive increase to our damage output for the room where we use it. So that's kind of the key to Judas is, you know, the best defense is a good offense. Dish out enough damage and you don't have to worry about your low HP because you're not going to take any hits. The key is just don't be afraid of using the Book of Belial. Like you just, you, you use it when you need to use it. You don't worry about saving it for the boss or anything like that. It's kind of a tough mentality, especially for me. I really like saving my good stuff for when it'll be most useful. That's okay. We haven't found the item room yet. So let's go do that before we take on the boss. Okay, we have found the item room. Oh man, that's a lot of cash in there. <laughs> Ghost baby again. We keep getting you. Um, let's use the stars. It'll take us to the item room. Oh, I thought that was the one that took us to the secret room. Well, never mind then. Um, oh man, this is getting kind of risky, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the bomb. We're going to get the cash. And I now have enough to buy something amazing from the shop if the shop indeed has something amazing in it. So we'll do that. I'm using my only key, which I'm not super happy about, but we get the starter deck. Extra card room. Oh. And I know I'm not planning. Oh, he has the uh, five color symbols from uh, Magic the Gathering on his face. That's funny. Um, I'm not planning on taking damage, but the extra heart is never a bad idea. Larry Jr. Okay, this is the more normal form of Larry Jr. that I'm used to seeing. I'm sad that we don't have a charge on the Book of Belial, but you know what? It's okay. It happens. Larry Jr. is very unpredictable with his movements, which is terrifying, and I'm being boxed in by poop, which is also kind of scary. Ooh. <laughs> oh man, this is super close, okay. Spectral Baby helping out, and the Wire Coat Hanger, which we unlocked for uh, one of the times when we beat Mom's Heart, I believe. So it just gives us more tears, which means a higher rate of fire. Which is pretty good, and I managed to do all that without taking any damage, which is fantastic. So let's move on, shall we? I don't have a key to visit the item room on this floor. So that's going to be an important thing to hopefully find early on. It would be a key. Many poops. Almost got hit there. Somehow it didn't. Don't know what's going on. I feel super lucky right now. Ah, oh, we got our key. Thank goodness. Now, item room. Wherever it is, we need to go find it. Dang it! Took damage. I got greedy there trying to hit him. Oh, don't like this. Okay, it's okay. We're just gonna go with the flow here. 
You know what? I'm thinking about it. We have a full charge on the Book of Belial. Let's fight the boss right now. <laughs> and it's Monstro. Big surprise. Oh, Monstro. I haven't seen you in, uh... Ever. Since the last time I played. We do have pretty fantastic damage output, though. I... that is... a really good thing about this character. Tears and shot speed up. So... we have an even higher rate of fire. That's pretty awesome. Heal with the devil. We could get... Guppy's head. I'm gonna not do that because I don't have the hearts. That was scary. That room almost ended really quite poorly for me, again. All right, extra large room. We got a couple of fatties and some poppers and a whole variety of things in here. Luckily, we're still in the basement, so it's not anything too crazy yet. There we go. Get any item in here? No. Not immediately seeing any... Ooh, Bob's Curse. I wasn't seeing any tinted rocks in there. Which is a bit of a shame. So Bob's Curse turns us green and gives us plus five bombs. And our bombs are now poisonous, similar to the toxic explosion that Bob's brain had. And I don't know if we've seen Bob's head, the actual item. Um, it's a spacebar item or a usable item that you can get. I think, I don't know. I, I think I've gotten it. It was in the old Binding of Isaac. Bob's Curse was in the original Binding of Isaac as well. So yeah, toxic explosions. Uh, there's a tinted rock there. Oh yeah, and our bombs now look like bombs or uh, Bob's head as well. Sadly, no point in going into the shop. We do have lots of bombs now, so I'm gonna check a couple places for secret room. More keys, that's good. Mm. There are a handful of places where the super secret room could be. Let's check one. I don't wanna use all my bombs. Hey, Guppy Scholar again. Eternal life. Still don't actually know what that does. I don't think I've died while wearing this. I'm curious, but not enough to intentionally throw the game. Hmm, so we could... Hmm, oh, this is, this is getting dangerous. You know what? I am going to take Guppy's head here. Usable fly hive. Uh, do I want to sacrifice the Book of Belial for this? Yes, because we have two of the three, or two guppy pieces, and if we get a third, we turn into guppy. Let's, uh, let's roll with this. This is probably a really dumb idea, but you know what? Especially considering I have no more heart containers now. Let's have a little fun. Let's live a little. Although only a little, because it's not going to last very long. Oh, this is a really bad idea. Let's do it. I mean, we have the Spectral Baby. Judas just naturally has a fairly high damage output, so that's okay. And then we have a, a massive stream of tears. These are the enemies I was worried about. Ghost Baby, help me. And then the severed heads that spit blood. All right, we are doing okay. We may as well get our uh, attack flies out. Awesome, more life. Holy water. Holy water was also in the original, or Wrath of the Lamb, one of the two. They're, 
more or less the same thing. Um, when I get hit, it'll spill and form a holy water puddle that'll do damage to enemies that walk into it. Um, the key there, though, is it relies on you getting hit, which I don't like. It's a retaliatory item. an okay number of bombs, I will go ahead and use one there. Get a cache, and we'll use another one here. I gotta keep remembering to use Guppy's head. There we go. Spirit heart. Awesome. Can I just wait for that creep to disappear? Don't want to walk across any blood puddles on accident. Really, really cannot afford to take any damage. Since I have no refillable heart containers. Oh, this is gonna be really bad. Those sprinty chaser enemies are really super terrifying. Although there was only one. Okay, that's awesome. Um, I only have one bomb. I'm not going to check for the secret room. Honestly, at this point, um, saving my bombs for... like, tinted rocks seems more useful than looking for the secret room. Oh, mega fatty. Haven't fought you in a little while. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but before he does that vomit thing, he's actually inhaling, and it pulls me towards him. Ooh, that was close. Oh yeah, Guppy's head. Really gotta stop forgetting about that, since that is a uh, one of my primary damage sources right now. Kill it! Yeah, look at that. Alright, well, stem cells give us HP. Awesome, okay, so no deal with the devil, which is a weird change to this game for me. I'm used to these always being deals. Ooh! Goat's head. And spiders. Okay, so we have a whole army of critters here with us. I don't remember what the goat head did. I think it was like spawning flies sometimes or something. I don't know. Either way, let's rock and roll. Let's go right. Ooh. <laughs> More bombs. Mr. Boom, the reusable bomb buddy. Um, I will use you to check for the secret room, probably, in a bit, if I remember. So, YouTube, don't let me forget. More bombs are good. I could, in theory, start using these bombs a bit more offensively, since they are poisonous. Like, use them against bosses and whatnot. I would just have to remember to do that. I also gotta remember to keep using Guppy's head. We can use it after every room. Ooh, that was super close. Alright, well, another bomb. So many things shooting at me. So many ways to maybe accidentally take damage. The stars. Maybe find what you desire. Does this teleport us back to the item room, I think? It might be worth it to go back and get the reusable bomb, buddy. Ooh, 
lots of items, but there are spikes around them, and I don't feel comfortable trying to walk diagonally through the spikes to get those. Alright. Oh, dang it, there's my damage from the stupid bone throwers, of course. I really, really hate those enemies. And you can see my holy water puddle right there. Oh, and I got hit again. All right, well. So much for that. I was doing pretty good up till that point, though. I was actually kind of impressed with myself. Whew. Okay, well, there's the boss. bunch of burning jumpers. I don't think we've encountered them before in this game so far. Um, but yes, the normal jumpers can go into fire and <laughs> ignite. Which I think just makes them do more damage, maybe? I feel like it might also be making them a little bit more aggressive. Um, Alright, so we'll use the stars. We will pick up our bomb friend here. Where do I think... I mean, there are a couple of really obvious spots to check for the secret room. Which are maybe a bit less obvious since we can't go left here. So I don't think it's going to be over the left there. There it is. Hmm. This is an interesting item to have available to us. So that'll recharge our bomb friend, which means we can use him again to go check for the super secret room. And again, it looks like there are a couple of... It looks like there's a variety of places where it could be. We'll use you there. And I will use a bomb to check there. Nope. All right, well, probably not worth wasting too many more resources on. We'll stick with Guppy's head again for now. Don't quite have 15 cents, so it is not worth it to go check out the shop. You can blow a bunch of bombs trying to get those items, or worse, a bunch of health. Um, still doesn't really seem worth it. We, oh, we did find the secret room. Never mind. So I'm not going to bother checking the secret room. Because we already found it. That would be silly. Oh, the fallen. This is both good and bad. Bad because he's just a tough boss. Good because we'll get a devil room item for defeating him. Without actually having to make a deal with the devil. Yeah, there wasn't really any avoiding that. That's a whole lot of bullets flying my way. A contract from below. Wealth. But at what cost? Hmm. Yeah, you know, what the hell. Missing page two, evil up, your enemies will pay. So we got a half of a black heart. Um, yeah, let's just carry on. So we are entering the depths, part one. Things are uh, picking up in difficulty here. 
Mm, probably not worth engaging in that. I would like some items to increase my damage output. It is starting to not be as high as I would like. Uh, we have a billion tears per second, though, which is fantastic. Okay. The fun thing about this particular room layout that we've got going for us is that these enemies can walk onto the spikes and take damage and or die like that. Like that. That was good. The chariot. So that'll give us invincibility for a couple seconds. Key for a battery. Not worth it. Huh. Okay. Is there nothing in this room? Oh, you shoot lasers. Telepathy for dummies! So this will, for a room, give us a psychic homing shot. So we'll, uh, we'll use it here. So that's what the purple tiers are, is they home in on enemies. Not super duper amazing. I just wanted to use it once so we have it in our inventory. We'll stick with Guppy's head. And the shop is worthwhile for us right now. Ooh, PhD, I like. Better pills, but no pills. Do we not get pills because I have the uh, Magic the Gathering? Okay, didn't have my money. Take it up to 40. Um, two of hearts is completely useless to us because I don't have any hearts. Hmm, that was mildly disappointing. Oh, dang it. You all shoot lasers and those lasers hurt. And I can't see where the other ones are over here on the left because this is a super wide room. That sucks. That is n my new least favorite thing. The extra wide room with the laser shooters that you can't see. Oh, that sucked. Um, that's a tinted rock, which is pretty fantastic. Just not doing enough damage, and I'm sad about it. Spectral Baby, can you help out? There we go. Two cents. Not worth it. Um, a whole host of places that I need to explore still. No oh, lies. So that's a dead end. Let's go check over here. All right, that was quick. Bunch of cash, a couple of bombs, some flies. We're on the depths part one, so I will fight the boss. The gate. You are new. I have never seen this before. Oh, this is that thing that we fought uh, in Shoal last time, I think. Oh man, you suck. You are a crappy boss. Spit up those leapers. And you shoot a laser. Like a swirly laser. I don't like what's happening here. Apparently my bomb wasn't close enough. That's embarrassing.
Okay. I've never seen that boss before. That was crappy. Uh, we have a deal with the devil, but I don't think I can... Or we have a devil room. That's apparently not always a deal. There's not really anything I can do. Could trade three spirit hearts for the, like, fear dark shot thing, or three for the gimp mask. Sadly, neither of those seems like a very good idea right now. Mostly because I don't have three soul hearts to spare. Or at all. Just in general. Oh, this sucks. Oh, those enemies are terrifying. Did I do this? No, I don't want to do that. I kind of do, but I feel like it'd be a really bad idea. Well, this is not going well. Uh, we have a few bombs. Let's check for the secret room. That sucked. I will check here. Good greed, I'm probably going to die here. Yep, especially if I just keep walking right into his shots like that. Ugh. Alright, well... Let's head downward with our half a soul heart, shall we? Uh, we're in bad shape, everybody. I don't know that we're going to have a successful run here. Not unless we get something amazing from the item room. Also, I keep forgetting I have the Chariot card. I probably should have used that... ...against the gate, that last boss. Oh no. Alright, so Guppy's Caller brought us back to life with a half a soul heart. Times one question mark. Oh, is it random whether you... ...come back or not? Ultra Pride. This <laughs> sucks. Alright, well, we killed one of them. I do have it. I mean, my damage isn't awful. Alright, so the left hand does something. It turns all chests into red chests, I think. Cartridge! I remember these. I have no idea what that's gonna do. Let's. Roll with it for a little bit. Going to use invincibility because those enemies are the worst. Oh, it doesn't... Is that... The, no, it doesn't look like we have any tinted rocks. That's a shame. There it is. Yep. Well, that was bound to happen. That was not going well. I made some. Uh, I made it. I made a gamble. I was hoping that we could find another Guppy-related item so that we could turn into Guppy, because that would have been fantastic. But it didn't work out that way, and uh, that ended up being my downfall. Hey, you know, you got to take risks sometimes. So, anyway, thank you all for joining me, and I will see you next time.